Hello and welcome to another episode of Short Trip to Earth. Today, crew, we are in Sector 3. Ooh. So we've made it. First command. First time we got Sector 3. I'll admit when I started, I didn't think I'd get past Sector 1. <laughs> we were in like fuel trouble, food trouble. We've gone through every single type of, food, of trouble there is. But uh, yeah, we are in Sector 3. It was a tough fight getting here, but we have made it. Um, I did notice our little cat was injured, so he's off to cryosleep now. Turns out the sector is not completely unexplored, as the star system contains an Earth research station. I did see that. Let's check it out. We might, um, we might find help getting home. Well, we know who we are. So yeah, I think that was in this this station, he uh, this place here, which is uh, over there. However, there are some really cool stuff, so let's um, let's quickly go check out this metal object over here. What the hell? Why did a random fire just start? That was really random. <laughs> okay, carry on. Oh, we were hit by an asteroid. Oh, I can't even see that. Salvage the metal. Nice. Large asteroids, high value. Let's go check them out. I think they're there. I can barely see from the orange, to be honest. Uh, there's a minor risk of getting hit by from fast frozen rocks. I'm sure it's fine. We found a large asteroid composed of volatium. Vol some kind of mineral. We could process it either into fuel or explosive practically for free. Um, so explosives would be amazing. But if we run out of fuel, then we're screwed. So we'll take the fuel. Thank you. I would like to see what this local warp gate took us. Uh, okay, let's quickly... Again. Oh, here we go. I can see a bit better now. I think we have to go through some of this. So let's dart through. What are the odds? Let's dart through there. Let's have a little look at where this warp gate takes us. So that has taken us all the way over here. There is a refueling station as well. Okay. Not sure that really helps us in any way. Okay, let's... Uh, should I fly back? One sec. I am tempted. Let's just take a little look at this refueling station. Damage station refuel system is offline. There's a cloud of dispersal from Starship Shield. It looks like an accident. Cool. Alright, let's flick back through. Yeah, it says we might save some fuel, but as far as I can tell, that saved all the fuel. Uh, so we will go check out. So I don't see a way through these asteroids that. Um, well, like a, an easy way through, so we're just going to fly through and hope we don't hit anything. We didn't. Let's go check out the station. station. Uh, Hedona Research Station. This is ship AI, calling Hedona. We are in dire need of assistance. Last supply ship visited us four years ago, taking our fleet for the war effort. We haven't had any contact with the line since. Can you help us? Uh, what kind of help do you need? Our station is slowly breaking apart due to critical lack of space parts. I've been forced to crack. Yeah. <laughs> Cry asleep some people. You mentioned a war, what war? A group of rogue ambassadors from Earth failed some kind of diplomatic mission years ago, prompting the entire Squid Dominion to attack Earth Alliance. This is the fact that I haven't heard from Earth it means the war is not going well. Hmm. Right, so what do you need? 750 metal. To resupply all the and resupply the fleet, this should be enough. There should be enough asteroids and other sources of metal in the sectors to collect this amount. Oh, that's really interesting. Refueling station. Oh, wow. Fuel is not a problem. Which would have been. I oh, yeah. kind of wish I had known that. Okay. <laughs> So that's probably why there's a, a warp thing then. So we just work our way through it and we'll jump back, which was this one. So yeah, cool. I 
think we are just going to jump. Let's jump over here. I was like, are we moving? No. This one? Ah, oh, we got jammed. Oh, what? Instant into the squid domain. You have no contributions. Well, you must die now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Let's just rethink this a second. So, how little my cargo. I have something that I believe is firing. No, that's firing metal. Which we might need to rethink, but for now, that's fine. There's no point having this sniper cannon. No, no, no. Okay. Right, we are unfortunately going to have to wake everybody up. And then we're going to have to start shooting at this thing. Warp Ray Shield Breaker. They can easily decimate shields, low damage to modules or hull, never deflects. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. Uh, yeah, we'll just give you a wide arc shot there. Let's go about this way. And the death ray can go this side. Okay, please shoot and... Okay, so I've turned the sound effects up since we last played to, to, to maybe, you know, because I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> to make it sound maybe a bit more... Uh, dramatic, I guess? Uh, you know what? We may just die here. We are really struggling to get through its shields. It would help if that wasn't disabled. But yeah, my shields are barely even functioning because of that flipping. I assume this warp shield breaker. Or the EMP turret as well. Overload shields, yeah. <sighs> not good, not a good start. I'll have to get rid of this. Oh, how did that deflect? It's a fire on board. Um, can you put fires out now? You can there, right? Just just put that fire out for me. Okay, we're doing a little damage to them. Well, that missed. We may have to jump. Although, using the warp module is disabled due to enemy interference, so I feel like we can't jump. Okay, their shields are down. This is... better. Got no metal, I know, I know. Although I don't think I don't know, they still have power. Where's your power coming from, that thing? Oh my god. What's the thing that's doing so much damage to us? Oh. Well then. <laughs> oh, we got a new ship. Okay, so. That's banging smack in the middle of this episode. What a great time to die. So, that was a short trip to Earth. Uh, obviously we died there. <laughs> um, some thoughts on the first run. 
I think uh, I thought I liked the game more than I am doing. I think I think I thought it was more of an FTL game, which it is. But I think if I put them side by side, I would probably prefer to play FTL. And I and I don't know if that's big little. I don't know if that's like the feedback of the weapons are a bit better, like you know what you're doing, you're impacting more stuff, like you're shooting the modules and you can see when you've actually done some damage. Also the music is amazing <laughs> in FTL. And I don't know, there's something about it, in fact, I may even just do a one-off episode of FTL to, you know, get that sense of the two different games. Yes, okay, so Shutter Strider Earth, what it's good at is min-maxing is great, like, you know, I, I like that you can talk about your modules, that you've got all those resources to worry about, you got to look after your crew, it's like a real spaceship simulator, which I think we we don't often get. Like we haven't had that many good spaceship simulators in so long, so it is good. But something about it is maybe not grabbing my interest as much as I thought it would. So, hmm. Food for thought there. It's up to you if you want to pick it up. Uh, otherwise, thank you for joining the crew, and I'll see you in whatever the next show will be. Thank you.